you again to buy some spiritual meals through Soul Food First! When it's lunch break in South Africa, it's breakfast or supper on the other sides of the world. But whatever time zone you are in, before anything else, Soul Food First! Now on Season 4! This is Pastor Din Padayhag. Welcome to Soul Food First. Yesterday, we talked about God's purpose concerning heaven and earth and how we are quite distinct with each other. We learned that God's purpose concerning the earth and Christ's reign upon it is the subject of the prophecy. And this had been spoken by the mouth of His holy prophets since the world began, meaning it was prophesied. This program was prophesied by His holy prophets as indicated to us in the book of Luke chapter 1 verses 68 down to verse 70 and also the book of Acts chapter 3 verses 21 and 24. We also learn that God's purpose concerning heaven and our exaltation there with Christ is the subject of the mystery. And this purpose or program was unprophesied, meaning not prophesied. It's a secret and hidden in God since the world began, meaning no one in the past prophesied or knew about this program because it was hidden in God. We learned that God kept this program and purpose a secret until He revealed it to His chosen apostle of the Gentiles, the apostle Paul. We also learned that the books covering the prophetic program are from the book of Genesis all the way through the first half of the book of Acts, then from the book of Hebrews all the way to the book of Revelation. And then the books covering the mystery program is uh, historically start from the second half of the book of Acts. That's Acts chapter 9 all the way to Acts chapter 28. And then doctrinally from the book of Romans to the book of Philemon. And these are the books written by our apostle, the apostle Paul. Now, as we continue with the topic about prophecy and mystery, let's dive deeper into the details. We will start with the prophecy and the messianic or earthly kingdom of Christ. Now, as we mentioned in the past, Prophecy refers to God's purpose concerning earth and Christ's reign upon it. And this was spoken of by the mouth of God's holy prophets, as we mentioned, since the world began. The prophetic scriptures describe this in great uh, detail, and so we'll talk about this. Here are some principal facts of this kingdom and program. Number one, the kingdom will be set up on earth. Now let's go to the book of Psalms chapter 2 verse 8. The Bible says, Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your position. And then Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 5 says, Behold the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise up to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice. Where? In the earth. Again, this kingdom will be established here on earth. The angels confirm this earthly hope when at Christ's birth they praise God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men, as indicated to us in the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 14. Our Lord Jesus Christ also confirmed this in Matthew chapter 5 verse 5 when he says, Blessed are the meek. 
for they shall inherit what the earth that's what christ said again because the kingdom will be established on this earth he also taught his disciples to pray about this in matthew chapter 6 verse 10 the bible says thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven this kingdom is made in heaven that's why it has to come down as christ said and it will be established on earth number two it will be theocracy or god himself will reign through god the son the lord jesus christ now let's go to the book of luke chapter 1 verses 31 through 33 the bible says behold you will conceive save in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus and he will be great and will be called the son of the highest and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there will be no end referring to the Lord Jesus Christ that will establish his kingdom and sit down in his kingdom on earth and sit down in the throne of his father david matthew chapter 19 verse 28 the bible says so jesus said to them the 12 apostles assuredly i say to you that in the regeneration when the son of man that is christ himself sits on the throne of his glory you who have followed me will also sit on the 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of israel again jesus christ will sit down in his throne and with him there will be 12 apostles and they will judge the nation of israel number three it will be centered in jerusalem israel's capital city it is very clear in isaiah chapter 2 verse 3 the Bible says, many people shall come and say, come and let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach his ways and we shall walk his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Again, it is based in Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 24 verse 23 the Bible says then the moon will be disgraced and the sun ashamed for the Lord of hosts will reign on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his elders graciously Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 17 the Bible says at that time we shall call Jerusalem the throne of the lord number four it will extend to uh, all the earth psalms chapter 72 verse 11 the bible says yeah all the kings shall fall down before him that's before the lord jesus christ and all nations shall serve him that's king jesus daniel chapter 7 verse 14 the bible says and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. That's the Lord Jesus Christ again. Zechariah chapter 8 verse 22. The Bible says, yeah, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the lord now the fulfillment of this is in revelation chapter 11 verse 15 the bible says the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of the lord and of his christ and he shall reign forever and ever and the number five we have all israel we will be saved Jeremiah chapter 31 verse 34 the Bible says they shall all know me 
from the least of them unto the greatest of them, referring to the people of Israel and then the people of the whole world. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 23 talks about God saving the people of Israel, cleansing them from their sins and making them his people and he will be their God. And Apostle Paul also confirmed this in Romans chapter 11 verse 26. The Bible says, And so all Israel will be saved as it is written, the deliverer will come out of Zion and he will turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Number six, Israel's suffering and sorrow will then be over, finished, will be ended. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3, the Bible says to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, uh, and garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness and planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 35 verse 10. The Bible says, And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Number 7. Israel will then become a blessing to all nations. Isaiah chapter 60, uh, 60 I should say, uh, verse 3. The Bible says, The Gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Again, that is from Isaiah chapter 60, verse 3. In Zechariah chapter 8, verse 13, the Bible says, And it shall come to pass that just as you were cursed among the nations, O house of Judah and the house of Israel, so I will save you, and you shall be a blessing. And do not fear, let your hands be strong. That's the promise of God to the people of Israel that he will save them. Zechariah chapter 8 verse 23, the Bible says, Thus says the Lord of hosts, in those days, that's kingdom days, ten men from every language of the nation shall grasp, grasp the sleeve of the Jewish man, saying, Let us go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. Now, talking about blessings in Genesis chapter 22, verse 17, and also verse 18, the Bible says, Blessings. I will bless you and multiplying, I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. And in verse 18, the Bible says, And in your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed because you have obeyed my voice. Now, as you can see, you know, it is going to be an interesting kingdom, an exciting kingdom that Christ is going to establish down here on earth. And it will happen in the future. Beloved, tune, uh, uh, tune in next week as we continue with this series. And we are hoping that you will have a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your soul food. You are watching So Food First on Grace TV. Please follow us on the Grace TV Facebook page and please subscribe to our Grace TV YouTube channel. Until next time, God bless you. Bye!